In this video, let's try to understand the working of circular queue. We know that queue operates on first in first out principle. This means that the first element added to the queue will be the first one to be removed. It has two pointers. Front pointer points to the first element of the queue and rear pointer points to the last element of the queue. We can perform two basic operations on queue. In queue means insert an element to the queue by using rear pointer. Before that, we have to check for overflow condition. If queue is full, we cannot insert new element to the queue. The second operation is DQ. It means that delete an element from the queue by using front pointer. Before deletion, we have to check for underflow condition. If queue is empty, we cannot delete an element from the queue. Initially, Q is empty and that's the reason front and rear both pointers are pointing to the index 0. Let's apply few operations on Q and see how it works. We add first element which is 5 to the Q, then front and rear both will point to index 1, which means that there is only one element present in the Q. To insert new element to the queue, let's increment rear pointer by 1, which will point to index 2 and then add new element there. No change in front as insertion happens at rear pointer. Again, to insert new element 15 to the queue, rear will point to next index, which is 3, and add new element at index 3. In the same way, add new element 20 at the new rear, which is 4. After adding 25 to the queue, rear becomes 5. And in this case, we can say that our queue is full because the number of elements present in the queue, which is equal to the size of the array. In this case, we can see here queue is full because total number of elements present in the queue is equal to the max size of array and there is no place to add new element. If we still apply in queue operation, we get an error message that queue is full. Now let's delete element from the queue. Deletion happens at front end, so just increment front by one and number will get deleted. We can consider our queue from front pointer to rear pointer and not the entire array. Again, to delete an element from the queue, just increment front by 1, it will point to index 3 and number will get deleted from the queue. Let's apply in queue operation on the previous queue to add 30. Rear was pointing to the last index, but there are vacant places in this queue as total number of elements of the queue is less than the max size of the array. So point rear back to index 1 and insert 30 there. If we apply 3 DQ operations continuously, then first 15 number will get deleted from the queue and front will point to index 4. Then number 20 will get deleted from the queue by just incrementing front by 1 which will point to index 5. After deleting the third element, front will point back to index 1 because it was pointing to the last index. As we can see here, there is only one element present in the queue as front and rear both are pointing to the same index. What will happen if we delete this element from the queue? After deleting the last element from the queue, front and rear both will point back to zero. It means that queue is empty again.